Welcome to InterConnect Academy, your channel to learn and master Zoho. Hi, welcome to a new tutorial, where we're going to dive deeper into the use of bin locations or container locations within Zoho Inventory. Remember, we upload new videos every week, so I invite you to subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Alright, so bin locations are specific spots within a warehouse that let you know exactly where each product is. Imagine you have a shelf with several compartments. Each compartment is going to be a bin location. For example, in the image we see on the screen, there's a shelf where each bin location has a code made up of two zones. Zone A, which represents a horizontal level like a row or main shelf while zone B represents a column or subzone within that area. So, we end up with zone A1, zone B1, zone 1, zone B2, A2, B1, and zone 2, B2. Using bin locations helps us reduce errors in picking and packing, save time searching, optimize physical space, organize our warehouse by zones, product types, or turnover levels and also have better control during audits and cycle counts. To start using bin locations in Zoho inventory, you need to activate them in the settings. So, we go to settings, enter warehouses, and choose an existing warehouse or create a new one. We activate the bin locations option and save the changes. Once they're activated, we go into the warehouse and you'll see that we can create bin locations manually or import a list from a CSV file. To create them, we click on New Bin Location. Next, we fill in the fields. We have the name, the level, which will be Shelf 1, the location, the delimiter, which will be a hyphen, the alias name, and finally, the total. I'll set it to 2, which will create 4 locations. With the locations created, we can assign products directly from the inventory screen. So, let's go to the Items, or Composite Items module. We're going to create a new one, and once we've filled in all the information, towards the end we select the Inventory Tracking checkbox for this item. We click on Bin Location Tracking in the system to carefully start tracking bin locations for this item and we select an appropriate account to track the inventory. We select the appropriate warehouse, and once we enter the initial stock, a three-dot icon will appear from which we need to choose the location. Once this is done, we save the changes, and after the item is created, if we go to the details, we'll be able to see that this item has the bin tracked, a item active. So from this button, you can map the corresponding bin or bins. When implementing bin locations, keep in mind that a product can be in multiple bins within the same warehouse. Picking is done by bin, which will speed up the operation. Additionally, the reports show us the stock by bin, and traceability improves in internal transfers. Keep in mind that bin locations are not only used to organize the warehouse, but they are also directly integrated into inventory transactions, like picking lists, transfer orders, and invoices. What for? Well, to improve stock accuracy, speed up the movement of goods, and make traceability easier at all times. So, for example, if I want to create an invoice in Zoho Inventory, we obviously fill in the relevant information at the beginning, and if the product is tracked by serial number, you'll be able to select the numbers directly from their corresponding bin. If it doesn't have advanced tracking, you simply select the bin location on the item line, enter the quantity, and that's it. This way, we save the changes. This ensures that the product is deducted exactly from the physical location where it was stored. So, this level of detail allows for much more precise inventory control, helps prevent stockout errors, and optimizes warehouse space as transactions are processed. As a best practice, I recommend keeping the locations well labeled. 
don't mix different products in the same bin. Also, I recommend doing physical audits from time to time in, using storage logic. Place the best selling items near the exit. And that's all for today. Bin locations might seem like a minor detail, but they make a big difference in our warehouse's efficiency. If you found this tutorial helpful, I invite you to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to see more technical content about Zoho. See you next time.